Today I'm in a part of the Withlacoochee State Forest I didn't plan on going to. Um, I've briefly been through part of this. It's not one of my favorite because it's the geography is sand hill, so it's kind of sparse and you don't see as much wildlife as you do in the swamps. But because hunting season apparently is still going on, I thought it ended January 1st, but I wanted to go to the home of Sasa tract and there were hunters there and they told me January 17th is the end of general gun season. So we'll see what this is like. Hopefully it'll be a pleasant uh, surprise. You can see it's more desolate than, you know, an uh, area that has lots of water. This is a very dry area. So we'll see what we can find. It's another cold, dreary day. What I call Yankee weather. Where it's just cloudy all day and dreary and I like my sunshine. There goes some sandhill cranes flying right overhead. Here we have a spider web with all the dew collected in it. And that spider can't wait for all that dew to be evaporated so it can get back to its hunting. It's a miniature world around you that you need to stop and look at every once in a while. It's amazing what's underneath your feet. Famous American philosopher and transcendentalist Henry David Thoreau, one of his most famous quotes, I went to the woods because I wanted to live deliberately, confront only the essential facts of life, and see if I could not learn what, I, what it had to teach, and not when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. Wise words from someone who knew the woods and loved the woods. Reflecting on New Year's always makes you think back at the past year. I had a big loss this past year. I'm not going to get into details because I'm a very private person and um, that's about all I'm going to talk about about that. But um, just some uh, wisdom. You don't know what you got till it's gone. You don't know people around you if they're going to be around you tomorrow. So you need to appreciate that. And even going beyond the human mode, sometimes you might have a great job and not even realize it and complain about it. You might have an excellent educational opportunity and you squander it and don't appreciate it. You know, you need to uh, think about these things before a lot of people that you um, used to know become people that you knew, not people that you know. came across a gopher tortoise hole and on this uh, cool day he's probably hunkered down in there nice and warm uh, along with other animals. Other animals use the holes too to stay warm stay dry when it rains. It's used a lot by rattlesnakes too to stay warm. Um, so I'm sure today on this cool day he'll stay in there. won't wander out unless it warms up a little bit later on. While I was walking on the trail and I came across, started to come across bones and jaw bones. There's a jaw bone there that looks like it, that's probably a deer jaw bone. And uh, it looks like something got, I'm assuming it's probably is a deer. But there's two skulls here. So maybe a pack of coyotes had got a couple of small deer. see here unless those are coyote skulls I'm not sure maybe someone who knows skulls better would be able to I think these actually do look more like 
canine skulls, looking at the teeth. But then you have these jaw bones here that are obviously where to go. That's a deer jaw bone there. So I don't know what happened here. But there's all kinds of bones scattered all over the place here. There's another, uh, looks like a piece of a skull. So something happened here or something was dumped here. I don't know. I was walking on the trail and I came across this interesting tree. It looks like a tree climber's dream. It has these, I don't know what you would call them, something happens here. I forget. I know the reason why trees do this. But they're almost like steps. I hope you climb a tree. So, maybe in a little while, I'll test it out. If I'm brave enough. Dreary winter day, but as Henry David Thoreau said, there's no bad weather, only different kinds of weather. Well, the little natural steps on this tree worked fairly well, but I couldn't get up too high. At least I tried. And I got a little bit of a tree climb in, so I can't complain. Well, the sun came out, which means the shadows come to life. And like everything, once the sun sets, the shadows disappear.